Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It is Krebsy here in the Potato Launcher, the Panzer 40. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The Panzer Werfer 42. It werfs Panzers. And watch as I get pushed aside by this uh, Panzer 4 F2 over there. What he doesn't know is that I could actually kill him. Yeah, with these rockets, they don't go by the same conventional system as normal tanks where you can't physically shoot them. Instead, the rockets can be going on top of anything. I could aim it at my teammate and I could kill him. But we're not going to do that because that's just bad. We don't kill teammates, we kill enemies. That's what we do. So you guys, uh, if you've been watching my videos, especially the one on the BM-824, you know I'm not a big fan of rocket-based vehicles. That is, the ro rocket-dedicated ones. Things like the Calliope, I think, are awesome because they just their killing potential is just through the roof. Those rockets, in fact, enhance and make up the killing power of that vehicle. But the ones that are solely based on rockets alone, like the Panzerwerfer 42 and the BM-824, are absolutely atrocious. I just don't know what role they are supposed to fit in this game. I think I would love I would love to ask Gaijin and find out exactly what role they're meant to be fitting in because they really just don't fit into any role <laughs> at all. I mean, if they expect you to be killing stuff with it, say enemy vehicles, then the only viable way to do that is close encounter situations because there's almost no accuracy with these at all and plus also when you aim down the sights, this is not a true sight of where the rockets go. It's only just uh well, it's a it's a sight. It's almost like a tank sight in a way. And you have to well aim well above what you'd expect it to be in order to hit an enemy vehicle. So, up there lies a Stug. Let's see if we can kill him and I can show you guys how it's going to fail. Maybe it won't. Who knows? We're going to take some... Oh, we hit something. And now I, sh I will show you the very long reload times. Take a look at the reload times and be amazed by how long it takes to reload the rockets. Uh, I've only got 10 of them to work with. And they're very inaccurate, so chances are I'm gonna miss them. But I gotta spam them. And now I've gotta wait a very long time in order to reload. So you'd think at the very least, in arcade, they would add an indicator that would show you where the rockets would go, but... You know, I guess not. Maybe that would be too much work to do. So... Let's see what I can do here. Well, there's that Stug still. I'm gonna see if I can hit him. Nope. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, we broke his cannon. How am I... Wait, we've got... Oh. No. Oh, that was terrible. Okay, time to reload and wait again. So this is pretty much giving you a really good impression of what this vehicle is like. Uh, oh, we're dead. Hello. Please don't kill... Oh, okay. Oh. That's why I brought backup vehicles, you know. I mean, I, I paid for this vehicle as a premium. I, I spent Golden Eagles, so... I surely must have enough Golden Eagles to buy backup vehicles, right? I mean, that's the target audience. That's me. And so T-34 is like that, taking advantage of the fact that I have a long-ass reload time. And uh, there you go. So I've got next to no armor. Three crew members within. Uh, speeds are okay. It has a maximum speed around like 41 kilometers per hour, but it never reaches that because, well, just because. Uh, and so, as you can imagine, it's just a very odd, odd vehicle and awkward to play with. Now, we're going to push back onto A in hopes of maybe one day we'll make a kill. Uh, at the very most, I think if I do make a kill, it'll probably be in a bomber. Uh, that's probably my only chance of making kills in a bomber. But we'll see. This, this vehicle is, is admittedly better on close quarters maps where you can engage enemies and at least you have a higher chance of hitting them. Uh, but there still is that very high chance of of being killed. That never dissipates. That doesn't go away. But alright, here we go. There's a T-34 just up on top of the hill somewhere. I would love to hit him. Uh, is he dead though? No, I think I see him. Wait, wait. He's, he's hiding. He's hiding behind... Uh-oh. I would like to attack him. Oh, never mind. My transmission's gone. Something blew up over there somewhere, and my transmission is now gone. Let's see if we can hit this guy with my rockets. Nope. Oh. Are we... Is this even going anywhere close? 
Okay, so that did absolutely nothing. We did get some hit indicators. And now here comes the T-34 and I'm pretty much dead. Yep. I'm pretty, pretty much dead. <clears throat> Still reloading. Still reloading. One day, I will have rockets again. Oh! Just as I got my rockets, I'm dead. And, uh, the best thing is... I can't, I can't use any more backup vehicles, because... I only get two to work with. So... There you guys go! So I didn't want to leave you guys with an absolutely useless video, so I will instead inform you guys about this Pilot Boy decal that has been introduced into the game. I haven't seen any news about it, but check it out, it's a limited time offer. Uh, till the 23rd of November, you have to win 13 missions and come number one on your team. And you get, uh, clearly a Fallout reference right there. The Pilot Boy. So that is the Panzer Werfer 42 in a nutshell. I try to give you guys authentic, uh, reviews, I suppose, of vehicles. And that is as authentic as it gets. The Panzer 42. Werfer 42. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later. What a shit video this was. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now we blasting off into the ozone. The way we kicking in the dojo is local for show, though. We gave it the rope that's opposed to the dojo. Mr. Captain.